Hi, this is Hayao Tasaki. In this short video, I like to discuss main results of our recent paper entitled Off-Diagonal Long-Range Order Implies Vanishing Charge Gap. And it's a joint work with my young friend Haruki Watanabe. And here's the official picture of Haruki's that you find in his webpage. But I have to tell you that Haruki usually doesn't look like this. So yeah, this is what Haruki looks like. Hi, Haruki. Anyway, uh, let's get started. So what is the paper all about? Well, here we prove a general inequality that relates the long range order or the off diagonal long range order with the charge gap in a quantum many body system with U1 symmetry. And I would say that the inequality is rather fundamental and is also beautiful. So we were a bit surprised to find that nobody at least nobody around us has ever seen the inequality before. Uh, but then one of our friends, Hosho Katsura, discovered that uh, back in 1992, Tian proved the same inequality for the special case of lattice bosons with hardcore interaction. Okay. But our proof is much simpler and also applies to a very general class of systems, including interacting particles, bosons or fermions on lattice or in continuum and various quantum spin systems. And let me note that our inequality is very different from the Goldstone theorem. Okay, first of all, uh, I will discuss two typical applications of our inequality. First, I talk about interacting bosons. Consider a system of bosons in a box, it can be continuum or lattice, with some volume V. And n hat is a total particle number, and h hat denotes any non pathological Hamiltonian that commutes with the number operator. And then, with this property for each given n, we can talk about a ground state uh, in, with n particles and the corresponding ground state energy En. With this En, we define a quantity called the charge gap this way. And it is believed that if the charge gap is non zero, then the ground state uh, describes an insulator. Okay. Now, uh, the first implication of our inequality is this suppose that delta N is strictly positive, then the ground state cannot have off diagonal long range order. The second implication is almost the contraposition. Um, now assume that the ground state has off diagonal long range order, then we can show that this charge gap is upper bounded by constant over V. So this means that Delta is vanishingly small if V is large. This inequality is almost equivalent to this one here. And here rho is the density in the ground, particle density in the ground state and mu is the chemical potential. And so d rho d mu is strictly positive. This means that when you change mu a little bit, also the density changes. So this means that a Bose-Einstein condensate is always compressible in the sense that this is strictly positive. Uh, as an interesting application of this observation, let's look at something called a commensurate supersolid. For example, consider a soft core Bose Hubbard model with nearest neighbor repulsive interaction on the cubic lattice and set the number of particles to be exactly the half of the number of sites. Okay. So this, imagine that this, this is a square lattice, but imagine that this is a part of the cubic lattice. Since the um, total number satisfies this, uh, you expect that in a ground state, we have a configuration like this. You don't want anybody in your neighbor, right? And this looks very incompressible. I mean, you cannot increase that particle number, right? And this gas, this intuition is correct if the ground state in the mod insulator phase where you have broken translation symmetry, so you have a solid like this, and also you don't have any B, C. But the same system with the same condition can be, can be in a phase called the super solid phase where the translation symmetry is still broken. So you have a solid like this, but you also have both Einstein condensation. Then our inequality says, said that this is 
compressible like this. This is very surprising. This is a surprising conclusion. But if you look at, for example, a numerical simulation in this paper, uh, you clearly see this behavior. So it's true. Now let's look at uh, magnetization process. Uh, consider any quantum spin system on a lattice with n sites and let H naught be any non-pathological Hamiltonian that commutes with the total SZ operator. Okay. Uh, here, this HH is the Hamiltonian of the system under uniform magnetic field H in the Z direction. And by GSH, I denote the ground state of this Hamiltonian and by MH, the corresponding magnetization. And in the zero temperature magnetization process, we examine the behavior of MH, the magnetization, as a function of H. And suppose that there appears a plateau. So here, MH stays constant when we change H. Then this is our theorem. Uh, when H is within a magnetization plateau like this, then the sum of this correlation function is always bounded from above by constant times N. N is the number of sites. And here, look, here you have n squared terms in the sum, but I say that it's bounded from above by constant times n. This means that the correlation here is short ranged. Here, theta j is an arbitrary constant. Okay. So uh, this implies that there is no long range order in the ground state in the xy direction. So the direction transfers to the magnetic field. Okay, now I take uh, bosons in a box as an example and talk about details of, of our inequality and I, I also prove it here. Oops. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> here's the basic setting. So I consider L by L by L square lattice and I denote by V the volume. Okay. Oops. V is the volume here. And by Psi and Psi Dagar, I denote the usual annihilation and creation operators of boson at site R, at position R. Okay, and they satisfy the standard commutation relations like this. And N hat is the standard number operator. And H hat is again the standard non-relativistic Hamiltonian. U is after a single particle potential and V denote the interaction potential of two particles. And of course, uh, H and N commute with each other. Then this is something I already said. Uh, since we, they, they commute for each N, uh, we can talk about a ground state with N particle and the corresponding ground state energy. And the chemical potential in the ground state mu N defined in this way. And then the, the charge gap, which we already defined can be written in this way. I think I already said this. Now let's look at uh, off diagonal long range order. I define order operator O this way. It's simply the integration of the annihilation operator. And actually you can consider, if you like, you can consider much more general order operator like this, where theta is a complex valued function. But let me stick onto this simplest case. Now uh, it satisfies these commutation relations. And here's the criterion for off diagonal long range order. So uh, you look at the expect ground state expectation value of this O dagger O, and if this is of order V, then the off diagonal correlation is short range, then we say that there's no off diagonal long range order. In this case, the ground state in the normal phase. And if this uh, expectation value is of order V squared, then uh, we say that there is off diagonal long range order. In this case, the ground state is a Bose Einstein condensate. Okay, now I can derive the inequality. So recall that GSN is the ground state with N particles, and O dagar is contains a creation operator. So this state, O dagar GSN, is a state with N plus one particle. Then uh, from variational principle, we get this inequality here. Why? Well, the left-hand side, it's simply the energy expectation value in this state. The state is here, it's corresponding bra is here, and here's the normalization. And since this guy lives in n plus one particle state, 
uh, sector. So this energy expectation value can never exceed En plus one, which is the ground state energy in the N plus one particle sector. Now from this elementary inequality, what do you do? Uh, I simply subtract En from both sides and then multiply everything by this quantity here to get this inequality here. Okay. Now you have this En plus minus En plus one minus En, but it's exactly mu N. And also this expectation value of OO dag R can be rewritten by using commutation relation in this way. Now you do the same thing starting from this state O G S N. Now this is a state with N minus one particle. So repeating the same argument, you get this inequality here. So here you get, you have minus of mu N minus one. Now I simply sum these inequalities together to get the third inequality here. Uh, let's look at the right-hand side, it's trivial. Uh, on the right-hand side, you have mu n times this guy and mu n minus one times this guy. So you get this thing, okay? And here you see delta n, and from this v, you get this. As for the left-hand side, uh, you don't see, probably you don't see immediately that this, the sum of these two becomes this. Uh, you have double commutator here, uh, but this is again very elementary. You simply uh, expand this double commutator and recall that this En is the energy eigenvalue of GSN. Then uh, you can easily show that the sum of this is written in this way with double commutator. And now uh, you can sort of explicitly compute these commutation relations and to prove that this expectation value is upper bounded by this quantity AV plus BN. A is simply the average of single particle potential and B is given by this. And I, I say that both A and B are usually quantities of order one. In this case, it's trivial. And in this case too, B2, uh, if B, V interaction is sufficiently short ranged, uh, this B is of order one, okay. Uh, now, okay, so this is a very important inequality. So I copy this and paste it here. So it's, this is the same thing. And now I write the particle density as rho. And then I can rewrite this in this way and bringing this guy here, I get this inequality, which is our main inequality. Delta N, the charge gap times the ground state, ground state expectation value of Odaga O is upper bounded by something times V. This something, let me write it as C, is a quantity of order one. So we have shown that the delta N times this is upper bounded by C times V. Okay, so let's look at two applications. First of all, I assume that the charge gap is positive and of order one. Then uh, by bringing this guy here, I get this inequality. So the expectation value of Odaga O is upper bounded by C over delta N times V, but this is of order one. So you see that uh, this guy is at most of order V. So uh, we conclude that there is no off diagonal long range order by definition. Now, uh, next, I suppose that there is non-zero off diagonal long range order. That means there is a positive eta and this expectation value of Odaga O is lower bounded by eta times V squared. Okay, uh, now uh, I go back to the main inequality and I think I bring this guy here and plug in this bound to get this upper bound for the charge gap delta N. And C over eta is of the one constant. So this shows that delta N is vanishingly small. Now I look at this compressibility business. So let me define chi N, the charge susceptibility this way. And I say that this roughly correspond, this basically corresponds to this D rho D mu, why? Uh, one over V is basically D rho and mu minus mu is of course, of course corresponds to d mu, okay. And now uh, recalling that mu minus mu is nothing but delta, uh, so this is written this way. So by plugging in this inequality, uh, I think v cancels out and we see that chi n is lower bounded by eta over c, a uh, positive constant of order one. So I conclude that uh, 
charge susceptibility is strictly positive and the ground state is compressible. Okay, now uh, I go to summary. So uh, we have proved an inequality that relates a long range order or the off diagonal long range order with the charge gap in a large class of quantum many body systems with U1 symmetry. And okay, if we apply this inequality to bosons or fermions on lattice or in continuum, uh, first of all, uh, we can say that the charge gap is non-zero. Uh, if the charge gap is non-zero, there is no off diagonal long range order. Also, uh, this is almost a contraposition, but we can say that if there is off diagonal long range order, the charge gap is vanishing and hence the ground state is compressible. And when applied to quantum spin system, we can say that a ground state within a magnetization plateau does not have transverse uh, long range order. Okay, so I think this is all I wanted to say. Um, if you are interested, please look at, our, look at our paper where you find more details and some related results. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.